I've been getting a lot of questions about the easiest armor in build a -boat. so whether you want to make a giant rope mech or a suit of armor, I created the easiest setup for you. Now to build this, you don't even need any kind of tools. All you need is these blocks right here. Now let me show you exactly how to build this. So starting off, you want to build yourself a bit of an L shape just like so, and then we're going to go ahead and set our movement tool to 0.5. Then next up, we're going to go down a quarter block just like so. We're going to place another block and then another block just like that. And actually, this is something you want to do on both sides. There you go, just like that. Now, I will be using the paint tool, but just to show you the blocks, you really don't want to delete. All right, so next, we're going to place a block on the side just like that. Then we're going to go over by a quarter block, and then we're also going to go up by a quarter block just like so. And that block right there, you really don't want to delete. And of course, this is something that we're going to do on both sides. After you've done that, you're going to go over to the back right here, and we're going to place a block like so. And actually, we're going to go over by a quarter block just like that. And this is when you want to change your rotate setting to 45. And then we're going to tilt and then rotate. And then we're going to place a block in the middle, just like so. Then you're going to want to go ahead and turn on match rotation. And now we're going to place a block right there, just like so. And another block right there, just like that. And actually, both of those blocks, you really don't want to delete. Then we're going to go one block up, just like so. Then a quarter block up, just like that. One more block over. And then right here, we're going to place a quarter block over, just like that. Then we want to delete this stuff and place one more block right there, like so. And that leaves us with our final and also most difficult step. We're going to place a chair facing towards us right there in the middle. And actually, that is the entire build done. Now you can go ahead and delete all of your unpainted wood blocks. And this structure right here will actually give you perfect R6 armor every single time. Now then, let me show you exactly how to set it up. So first off, you want to make sure that you have this body package equipped just because it's the blockiest and simplest to set up. And actually having different kinds of animations can also mess things up. So keep that in mind. Then we're going to go ahead and sit on our chair just like so. And actually after sitting on the chair, we're going to delete the chair. Then we want to go ahead and grab our glue blocks. And actually we want to make sure that match rotation is enabled and we're going to place one on every single one of these blocks just like so. And of course, the reason we have match rotation enabled is for this block here in the back and actually once you've placed all your blocks as you can see your armor will be finished now currently uh, i can't really unanchor it without launching the water so i am going to use the properties tool just to show you but yeah when you unanchor everything as you can see all of the blocks are perfectly sticking to me now another thing you can do to make this armor just work way better is actually selecting everything and turning off collision now, of course technically these aren't steps that are necessary they're just going to make the entire build a lot better. And now all of these pieces are moving perfectly. So now that this is done, let me show you all of the crazy things you can actually do with this setup. So if you wanted to make R6 armor, it is actually super simple with this setup. All you got to do is once again, sit down, delete the chair and just place all of your glue. Now, if I want to build armor, all I got to do is place my body parts. Now, of course, you want to make sure not to glue everything together or this entire thing isn't going to work. But actually doing this is very simple. And for this part, having the tools does really help. So all I'm doing right now is just simply covering up the body parts so you can't see me underneath. Just like so. All right, so that right there is the legs and the torso. You know what? I'm going to give this boy a big head. <laughs> and then finally, the arms. Now, like I said, make very sure that none of these blocks are actually touching or the entire thing is pretty much glued together. But if you've done so, after I've placed all my blocks, I can just simply save this entire build right here. And now we actually have R6 armor. Drop the whole thing. And you might just want to make these pieces invisible. I mean, there you go, dude. Look at that. Now, I did mess up the scaling a little bit in some places, so I might want to go ahead and fix that. But this right here would totally do. Now, one thing that's actually very nice after you've made this you can very easily start adding a bunch of details however you want, like painting things or, you know, stuff like that. And that is cool and all, but let's be honest, you guys are here because you want to see some remote-controlled armor. And with this setup, it is super easy to build. Now, for the remote-controlled armor, you can actually make it any size you want. And honestly, making a giant is even easier. You're just going to need a lot more blocks. But just for an example, I will make like a medium-sized one. So what we want to do is we want to build every single limb as its own part. So right here, this is going to be the leg. And actually... I'm just eyeballing this, but it should be about that big. And of course, we have two legs. Then we have the torso, but make sure that these parts are not touching, just like so. We actually want to have a little bit of space in between. All right, the next up, we're going to go ahead and place ourselves the arms, just like so. And actually, this is going to be the exact same size as the legs. There you go. And there you go. And then for our final body part, we're going to need to do the head. And actually, you want to make sure that your head is a little bit big, because that way it's just
just gonna look a lot better in my opinion. And there it is. <laughs> Dude, that looks so cool. Now, to actually make everything work, we have one final step, and actually, it is a very simple one. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves a couple of hinges. And actually, we want to place these where we want all of the parts to connect. So right here, it's going to be the shoulder, just like so. But as you can see, currently, these aren't exactly touching, so we're going to grab an extra block and make sure that it is, just like so. And we want to do this for every single body part. All right, there's the hinge for the head, and now the block. There you go. And then finally, the legs. All right, there you go. And that right there should be pretty much all done. Now, at the moment, there is actually no connection between our body and the mech of armor. So that is the final thing we're going to have to add. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves six ropes. And simply all we want to do is place one for each corresponding body part. So that right there is my right arm. And actually, we're going to place the right arm there just like so. And of course, we're going to want to do this for every single body part. All right, for the one on the back, make sure to place it right there on the flat part, or actually it will not work. All right, there you go, the legs. And that right there should be the entire thing done. All right, then let's try this out. And of course, all we need to do to do this is simply sit down in our chair and set everything up. Also, sometimes your player will do an animation as you're standing here. So just make sure to wait for that to end before you actually get everything set up. But here you go, that right there should be everything done. Select all, an anchor, oh, oh my God. Dude, look at that giant boy. He is doing everything we're doing. <laughs> okay, now we do want to go ahead and turn off collision on all of this stuff right here. And that right there should make all of the animations just work a lot better. But as you can see, this guy right here does everything we do. Let's say we jump. He actually jumps. And actually, typically you can't actually like do R6 jumps or actually specifically you cannot do any R6 emotes. But actually... With this giant boy, oh boy, he's actually a little too big. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we can actually do animations, just maybe not a backflip. But yeah, as you can see, he actually does all of our animations perfectly. <laughs> so yeah, that right there is the easiest possible way to build R6 armor in Build-A-Boat. 